Welcome, jubilant viewers, to Vegetarian Elite. It is our pleasure to introduce to you actress and dancer, the lovely Ms. Tanya Kay. When people feel good, they make different choices too. So I'm really into that, just helping individuals feel their best so that they can get to that childish place where they can create and love and play again. Today we will spend some time with the multifaceted artist and find out how a simple change in diet that started three decades ago has helped transform her life and livelihood. I just really believe you can change the world if you change what you eat. Multi-talented only begins to describe Tanya Kay. She is an award-winning actress and writer, professional dancer, model, vocalist, environmentalist, and philanthropist. Aside from her starring roles in movie and television, Tanya is also well recognized for her athletic abilities, especially her unique combination of stunt and dance. Her talents have led to invitations to appear on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, American Idol with multi-Grammy winning singer Rihanna, and America's Got Talent, among others. As a professional dancer and stage performer, she has toured with Stomp, De La Guarda, Panic at the Disco, and Kenny Rogers. In the next couple of months, I've got some appearances on some TV shows. I just won Best Supporting Actress in the 2011 Los Angeles Movie Awards for my portrayal of Kiel in a series called Silver Lake. I'm going to be dancing in the Muppets movie that comes out this Thanksgiving, and I got to work with the Muppets. And I'm going to be in an episode of Friends with Benefits. It's a new series on NBC. Um, and I'm filming a music video this week. And uh, oh, and I'm on a car show. I restore classic cars and I'll be on Speed TV uh, on a show called My Ride Rules. A um, Couple other projects that I'm in that you should definitely check out are Bold Native. Bold Native is the first fictional film about the Animal Liberation Front. Uh, everyone on the production team was vegan or went vegan for the duration. And that was about the coolest set I've ever been on. Uh, also, I am the voice of Green Girl in an uh, animated series called Raw Man and Green Girl. And it's about raw superheroes who fight the nasty, you know, uh, the beekeeper and Franken food and things like that. It's super cool for kids. Ooh, I've gotten to work with some really great, notable other vegetarian and vegan celebrities. I did a modeling shoot with Russell Brand. I filmed a music video with Rob Zombie. I worked with um, Ellen DeGeneres in Las Vegas. She's a famous vegan. Very famous. And it's really cool to connect with these people um, in the workplace. Hollywood really grabs onto the next fashion, the next fad. They're really open to change. California's progressive. Like, Raw food and raw vegan food are super, is a super popular movement. There's 12 restaurants in the area that I can go to that are raw vegan, and there's tons more that are raw friendly. And the great thing about the raw vegan movement is that just because it's popular, people latch onto it, but they stick with it because it works. There's not a human being that doesn't feel the positive change that happens to them. It's definitely experiential. You don't need to read the books. You need to do it. <laughs> Being on a raw vegan diet for the last 10 years, Tanya accredits her achievements and strength to her plant-based diet. With a strong belief that this is the best diet for maximum health and for protecting the environment, she strives to convey this message through different activities such as writing books and television appearances. She writes weekly columns in the Eco Hearth magazine, volunteers for the preservation of endangered species, and donates to animal protection projects. I went vegetarian uh, for animal compassion reasons, unconscious animal compassion reasons. I went vegan uh, to break the system. It was an act of rebellion. I went vegan when I was on tour with Kenny Rogers, and we were, it was 5 a.m., we stopped at this truck stop 
and I wanted food. And when I went in there to the truck stop, I looked and there was all this neon packaging and cartoon characters and none of it looked like food to me. And I saw instead how the system is really set up against us. And I went raw vegan as a desire to really find out what healthy was. And um, I had been taking care of the other animals for so long that I was kind of doing a reverse speciesism. So going raw was really an act of self-love where I considered myself one of the animals and now we're all one. And I have, I have extraordinary health. The health benefits going from cooked vegan to raw vegan have been extraordinary, nothing less than miraculous in my life. Can you talk a little bit about how being a raw vegan impacts your life as an actor? There are so many ways that being a raw vegan impacts my life as a professional actress and a professional dancer. Athletically, being a raw vegan has helped my, uh, my athleticism just skyrocket. Now I get injured far less. My connection to my body has become so crystal clear that I can hear the movements that are causing injury long before I ever was used to. And then if I do get injured, cuts, bruises, you know, contusions, whatever, accidents happen, then my healing rate is so much faster. So it's also mental, it's the knowledge that I've gathered being a raw vegan that has made me a better athlete. I have the tools to, to eat, make choices that help me sustain my energy over a long period of time where before I just didn't even know. And I get a little bit sad when an adult asks me, um, questions about diet and how sugar is processed in the body and why do they have diabetes or why are they depressed and I get a little bit sad that in the school systems we're, we're giving kids diplomas but they don't even know how their own body works. We have not prepared them for life if they don't know how diabetes is caused. Adults are turning to me and asking I want these tools now. So I feel like having these tools, this education, and then acting upon it has made me a better athlete. Um, and in the acting world, um, my ability to tap into my emotions uh, has, is so clean. I'm not afraid to connect with people, that that's a really great asset for an actor to have because I really believe that acting is one of the most noble art forms that one can undertake. It's a fascination with humanity and psychology and wanting so badly to know what the experience of another person is like that we would forfeit all of our own experiences in order to understand them better. So being a raw vegan has just cleaned up that space where that happens, where I can just really get into another person and, and share the thing that helps me understand what it's like to be them. That's called compassion. Anya Kay was born in Michigan in a small farming community and at a very young age was concerned by the inhumane treatment of animals. Intuitively, she refused to eat her friends, the animals. Uh, I've been a vegetarian for almost 30 years. I have been a vegan for 20 of those years and I've been a raw vegan for the last 10. And each progression was a distinct and separate experience unto itself. Um, obviously, I went vegetarian very young, and that was probably based on an unconscious uh, knowledge of the suffering that animals go through. My grandparents had a slaughterhouse, and I got to see firsthand what was going on, and really I didn't know I was making this decision. My mom was the one who told me at the dinner table, she says, uh, do you know what they call people like you? And she said, vegetarian. We asked Tanya to share with us her own experience in transitioning from vegan to raw veganism in hopes that her story will help our viewers who aspire to the same way of eating and living. I never want to feel restricted at all. So I just made a list of all of my favorite cooked foods because I was already a vegan and which ones were my favorite I decided I would always have on hand in my kitchen. Anything that was not on that list. I just got rid of that stuff and replaced that with more raw food. So 
in the end, I was just eating huge amounts of raw food and always also had my favorite cooked foods on hand. And then over time, just being patient with yourself, I noticed that my, my tastes change. And my taste buds now, they're super receptive to the life taste. And brown foods and oily foods and whatever, they just don't rank very high anymore. <laughs> Ms. K strongly believes that creating the world in which we wish to live in starts with ourselves. I'm in it for the health, I'm in it for the compassion, but the environmental aspect is what really moves me right now at this point, you know, a decade into my raw veganness. I just really believe you can change the world if you change what you eat. By changing our diet, really, we would be changing the environment. We would be changing the way we interact in community. If we had a mass movement of people going vegetarian, vegan, raw vegan, if a mass movement went that direction, it would, it would be a more peaceful society, a more utopian society, It'd be like living on a paradisial island. And that's where I want to live. I want, I want everybody to join, join this party over here, because this party is good. Our admiration, Ms. Tanya Kay, for your willpower, idealism, and appreciation for life. Wishing you success in all your endeavors of bringing much kindness and beauty to our world. My name is Tanya Kay. Be veg, go green to save the planet. For more on the multi-talented Tanya Kay and her work, please visit www.tanyakay.com. Gracious viewers, thank you for your presence today on Vegetarian Elite. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples, here on Supreme Master Television. May the songs of nature lift your heart to dance and your soul to sing. Please see www. Please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash V E. C'est mieux pour, le, pour la nature. Be rich, go green, save the planet. Soyez plus italiens, devenez écolo, sauvons tous la planète ensemble. Be rich, go green, save the planet. Every person will do a little bit, the world will be created by this event. Be rich, be vegetarian, be ecologique, save the planet. Be vegan, go green, so the planet. Ik ben Marianne Thieme, fractievoorzitter voor de Partij voor de Dieren in de Tweede Kamer in Nederland. Be veg, go green, save the planet. Laten we met je mee lai, zie je dit woord. We met daarja met je mee zo, wan bao jiu di chou. Nhân các bạn châu xin kính chào quý khán giả. Xin quý vị ăn chay, sống xanh, cứu địa cầu. Be veg. Go green to save the planet. I feel really free and I feel like I, I follow what I love and I just so much to be excited about and happy about and appreciative for and welcome joyful viewers to vegetarian elite today we'll introduce one of Los Angeles rising musical stars the beautiful and multi-talented joy Valencia who is also committed to the compassionate vegan lifestyle
Joy Valencia was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, USA, and later attended the prestigious Berklee School of Music. She excels as a singer-songwriter, musician, and producer, using her spontaneous intuition and an eclectic blend of musical genres to create her own unique sound. I'm doing really what I love, and I'm a big believer in, in follow your bliss and do do what really makes you happy do what you love basically so and that I had I had an aha moment for that when I read this quote by Howard Thurman and it was uh, don't ask what the world needs ask what makes you come alive and go do that because what the world needs is people who have come alive this time's are slow and all my hopes are on hold some positive feedback from her fans proved that Joy Valencia has definitely come alive. Gotta love her. She looks and she sings like an angel. Soulful vocals, magical music, fantastic. Wow, Joy, your music is wonderful. Love it. She has also earned the title Artist of the Month from musical websites Stereofame.com and BeatCrave.com, who noted, Joy Valencia is one prime example in the music world that shows how much can be accomplished with enough drive, spirit, and natural talent. Joy, so take us to the beginning. Did you always uh, want to be a singer or a songwriter growing up? Yeah, I've always wanted to be a singer uh, and a writer. Um, I was four years old when I knew what I wanted to do. So what happened at four? I mean, how did you, how do you remember back at four that that's what you wanted to? Michael Jackson happened at four. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. No, it's true. Um, I just knew. I just, I just was so drawn to the music and the, the whole artistic aspect of it, the performance, and I love to dance, and, and that's just, that was it. I knew. But also, uh, it made a lot of sense for me because as a kid, I was, uh, I was always interested in recording my voice. I had a little karaoke machine <laughs> with the two decks. So there was, uh, there was the one deck where you record your voice, and then I would switch it and I'd put it over here so I'd play my voice, and then I'd record myself singing on top of that, along with myself, oh, a harmony, okay. and I would switch it again. Oh, and so then, I would, then I'd have three voices, and then I'd have four. It's as much as I could do being a 13-year-old or 12-year-old mm -hmm. or whatever. So. Joy's natural love for experimenting with music carried her all the way to the largest independent contemporary music school in the world, the prestigious Berklee College of Music, where she fell in love with being in the studio. She also met her gifted husband, Alejandro Valencia, at Berkeley. They have since become an excellent musical duo, establishing their very own studio, Elitron Productions. For me, when I'm writing, a lot of times I write with a voice recorder, so I feel like I get a sense of the melody and the, uh, the overall vibe of the song, mm -hmm. like the, uh, the instrumentation. So uh, the melody comes out and, um, and a few words, like a phrase or something. And I kind of hear it all, all at once when it, first, when it first happens. What do you think makes a great song? Ooh, um, I think a great song is something that moves you, you know, it can make you happy or it can, it can make you feel something. Uh, a lot of times I think when someone can relate to it, it, oh, I'm not the only one who feels this way. I think that's part of it. So lyrics, I think, make a great song. But, um, but I have to also say that melody is so important to me. And I think uh, for me, the melody is the, is the biggest factor. Few individuals in the music business are involved in the entire musical process from start to finish. Joy is one of these few greatly accomplished individuals. All Indie Magazine gave this encouraging review of her work. No matter which era Joy tries to capture, it works and makes Joy Valencia one of the most intriguing music artists. We do everything ourselves, so I'm, I'm there every step of the way. Like, a lot of the production ideas are mine, like I said, because I hear the instrumentation. I know, I know what I want. So uh, Alejandro is the guy who can, who can make that happen. And I also I do the vocal production, uh, but I also do a lot of the tedious editing work that people don't even realize that you you have to do that stuff because you know that they probably think that you just record a song and put it out, but there's hours of 
real work to be put in. Joy and her production team's diligent efforts certainly paid off in March of this year, when she had her first official video release premiere for Don't Wake the Lion. I was in the mood to write a song, a uh, kind of light, fun, artistic song. Uh, and I knew I wanted it to have some organ. I knew the specific organ sound I wanted and a really high, fun vocal. And then it kind of came out of imagination and I was picturing a lion wearing my robe in my bed. Just, just kind of silly, silly, mm -hmm. playful, fun side. And uh, that's what, why I yeah, ended up doing, doing that one. I think music is a, a, a universal language, and uh, I think you don't always have to understand what they're saying to to get the feeling that's supposed to be coming across. Uh, I, I think it's therapeutic. I think it can make someone happier, and uh, it can uplift you, and give you hope. Music is surely one way to give hope for a better world. But Joy Valencia has found another powerful way to contribute to world peace in her lifestyle. I've been vegetarian for over three years and vegan for over two and a half. I was listening to Do You by Russell Simmons and um, I was not expecting this to happen, but Russell Simmons was talking about the chickens and how they're treated. In a music business book, he said something about how whatever you're eating, you're putting that energy into you. And that was like, I was like, the energy of the suffering animal, the energy of the person who killed that suffering animal, all, all of that. I, so that's what made me really think about it. Um, how did you feel after the transition, and what are some of the benefits that you noticed? Um, I felt lighter, uh, both physically and my conscience. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like food digested better. Uh, I think when you eat meat, it, it sits in your stomach and it like rots in your stomach. It doesn't just digest and go through. So it doesn't really give you the kind of energy that feels like fuel, like it keeps you going. Right. I felt like I had better energy. I felt lighter. Um, after I went vegan, I lost five pounds like immediately. Not that I was trying to, but I was like, whoa, I didn't realize that. Um, yeah, I, think I, felt, I felt clear. Uh, what are some of your favorite places to eat out or your favorite dishes to cook? Yeah, um, uh, I like real food daily uh, in Santa Monica and um, Follow Your Heart is up by, up by me. One World Vegetarian is awesome. Uh, and as far as one of my favorite dishes to make. My favorite food to eat ever and make is tabbouleh. I make it with quinoa. And I'm really lucky because a friend of mine gave me a, a, a recipe. It's like a passed down family recipe oh. from her family in Lebanon. Uh, I thought it was pretty shocking to find out that the UN released a statement saying that um, the livestock industry produces more greenhouse, greenhouse gases, gases than the entire transportation industry of the whole world combined. So it's greener to go veg than it is to drive a Prius, but let's, why not do both, right. you know? <laughs> it's definitely something we can do to reduce our carbon footprint. How do animal welfare ethics fit into your decisions to stay vegan? There's so many different reasons to be vegan, and for me, that's the main one. Um, I learned a term that describes how I've always felt about animals and respecting life, and it's ahimsa. It's um, belief in the sacredness of all creatures and uh, urging avoidance of harm and violence. I felt like that my whole life. I remember walking home from grade school, seeing kids stepping on caterpillars mm. and guts. I remember thinking, like, why? Why? I don't understand why. We feel the need to kill things that are smaller than us. That's always bothered me my whole life. And uh, 
now I know there are people out there like me. <laughs> so basically, I, you know, I, I feel good about not contributing to the culture of suffering. There are these animals being imprisoned all over the place. They don't have freedom. That's the basic, a basic right that everyone deserves is freedom. On April 10, 2011, Joy participated in a concert celebrating the premiere of Supreme Master Ching Hai's poetry collection, The Love of Centuries in Cerritos, California, USA. During the meaningful event, guest of honor Supreme Master Ching Hai spoke about the urgent state of our planet and how we could each do our part by sharing more love especially by adopting the loving animal-free diet. Along with other distinguished artists, Joy performed an uplifting song bearing this message titled, Please Wake Up, with the Oscar and five-time Emmy winner Bill Conti setting Supreme Master Ching Hai's poem to music. The song was about how Mother Earth is mourning, basically. How we're, it's, it's, uh, we need to be aware of what we're doing. Our, our choices are changing the planet, and we need to change, basically. So it was a really nice message. And uh, the experience was great. The people were lovely. It was good vibes all around. And, uh, and the food was amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Joy, for sharing your tremendous artistic talents and for being our inspiring vegan role model. Your beauty certainly shines inside out. Wishing you the best of success in your musical endeavors as we work together to make our world a place of love and freedom for all co-inhabitants. viewers, thank you for being with us today on Vegetarian Elite, featuring the wonderful singer-songwriter, musician and producer, Joy Valencia. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples. Blessed be the love shining from your heart. I'm Joy Valencia. Be veg, go green to save the planet. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com/ve. Yeah.